If you guys think that there are elevators that are that all the elevators are accessible, well, you're dead wrong. There is one elevator is this elevator that is extremely accessible. And so I am at the Westin Hotel in Ottawa and I'm we're gonna take a ride on the elevator. Now there is four elevators. Now the other thing, this is two things. This is the highest elevator I've ever filmed. It's 24 floors, and it's the first elevator I've ever witnessed with a destination dispatch system. So you can do it in two ways. You can just simply type the name of the floor that you're going to, or you can also do a handicap feature, which I will use to demonstrate. So. Here we go. There's four elevators. There's A on the left, B on the right, C on the right, on the, on the, th C is behind me, and then D is, in, is, the, is behind me as well. So. Please enter destination floor. Veuillez entrer votre destination. It talks. Highest floor we can go is 24. 24 floor. Proceed to car B2. Yeah, I got it. You got it? Awesome. Thank you. You're very welcome. Door closed when you hit the button. Here we go. It's not grass, so... Door open, door closed. Whoa! Let's take a good cat view. There's keypads on both ends. And now... We take it back down to the, sorry. Here we go. These elevators are fast. There's no glass. Listen to that in, 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 in now to you there. Let's go on one more ride. It cut off. Here we go. These things are very, very fast. And of course, here's your um, inspection. Your These are Otis, I believe. Talks. I like this one because it doesn't have the fan. All the other ones have a fan. It has a chime. You can hardly hear it, but it has a chime to indicate the visually impaired. There are the doors, and away we go.
You can tell by the engines how fast we're going. These are traction Otis elevators, I believe. I think these are Otis. I'm not sure. There's a sound of speed doors. There goes that one. There it goes, and it will close up. There it goes. It will. And let's try. Um, see, each elevator has their own keypad. So it doesn't matter where you go, this elevator is truly accessible. Now I'm going to take you through some of the prompts that it says when you don't get a floor wrong. So, We'll go through each prompt so that way you know what it says. So, when you hit the handicap button, handicap button is right here. And. Can I help you locate? No, 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 I'm fine. Okay. It has a little arrow in braille, which is a little plus sign in there. We hit that and we'll tell you what to listen, we'll listen to the prompts. Please enter destination floor. Veuillez entrer votre destination. We heard that and it said. Sir, do you want to go with the elevator? No, I'm fine. I'm just looking at it. Okay. 24th floor. Proceed to car C2. Tip right. Rear. Veuillez vous diriger vers l'ascenseur. C. Derrière. À droite. You're going to see another one. We're going to go up it, and you can hear the chime in this one. That chime is to alert the visually impaired, letting them know where the elevator is. There go the doors. This one gradually picks up speed. Oh. We're on the third floor, we let them on. Unlucky number 13. Here we go again. You can tell we're moving very fast. Okay. Let's get out here. And there it goes. Okay. I'm going to take you through the prompts. This one's louder, so it's easier to hear. There's almost nobody in here. So, let's show you. Um, again, handicap is the exact same thing. It has the plus sign in braille, indicating it's a handicap sign. So. Please, enter destination floor. Veuillez entrer votre destination. Destination floor. Now, if we hit Third floor. Whoops. Proceed to car. C. Two. Tip left. Veuillez vous diriger vers l'ascenseur. C. À gauche. We're not going to take that one. But you can hear the chime.
There it goes. I meant to do that. I hit the wrong button. That's why. Okay. So if I hit. Please enter destination four. Veuillez entrer votre destination. So if I hit three and twenty F, it says. Floor. Invalid floor. Please enter destination four. Vingt cinquième étage. Le numéro d'étage est invalide. Veuillez entrer votre destination. Now, supposing you hit twenty four floor. Please enter destination when you're already floor. at that floor, Please enter your destination. it will say 24th floor. Access denied. Seek assistance. 24th etage. Access refused. Veuillez demander de l'assistance. And those are the props. So now we're gonna go on. We're gonna go down and then end the tour. It does have number zero, so you can go to 20th or 10th. Um, the sixth floor holds the half club. Unfortunately, I'm not, I'm, I can't tour this place just because I'm not a guest here, but maybe sometime in the future, maybe, who knows. But uh, anyways, so we're going to take it down. Please enter destination floor. You can either hit one or you can hit lobby. We're gonna hit lobby because it's quicker. It has a little bit out. Lobby. Proceed to car C two. Get map. Veuillez vous diriger vers l'ascenseur. C. Now. You could hear the chimes slightly. Here goes the doors. Door close button when you hit the button, and we all like that. These elevators are super fast. And I'll let you hear the, the announcer saying. Lobby. And we're gonna end the tour on the Proceed to car A, two, deep left, rear. We're going in this one. Again, door close button works when you hit the button. Here we go. You know what? We're gonna ride on all of them. How's that? We're gonna go to the. Oh, the keypad is that way. To the left. Here we go. Oh, it didn't recognize it. See, the thing is with this, these elevators that they're random. It doesn't go by which one is the closest all the time. It also goes by which one is less busy. So, and by the way, door opens, oh, we're going down. Ah, so the other thing that it does is it self parks. So it's at a recall station. So now if we hit the door open, we'll be at the lobby. Watch this. We'll automatically appear at the lobby. Going up, of course. Yeah. Are we all in? Yeah. Okay. Please floor. Where's the buttons? Ah, you, you just called them. Oh, you yeah. did that. On you did the it. Outside, I see. They're on the outside. They're not on the inside. Yeah, they're on the outside. They're on the outside, yes. Yeah. Okay, after you, pal. No, I'm not oh. getting off. I'm not okay. getting off. Okay, take care. Okay. Now we're going higher. We'll listen to the announcer again. I think we're going to go all the way up.
put on. I'll just call up 24. Okay, we're gonna go to print 24. Again, here we go. And the last but not least. Here we go. Here are the doors, and we're going very fast on this one. This one gradually picks up speed. My ears are... you can feel the pressure in your ears because we're going down so fast. Here we are. And we'll end the tour at 3. Oh. Oh. Where are we going? Oh, you took it. To left rear. Left rear. This is the other one we haven't tested. Oh. It's not here yet. So therefore... Which floor are you going to? I'm going to the third. There you go. Here it is. You can clearly hear the chime on this one. Are we all in? Okay. We're all in? Yep, we're good. Okay. Door closed, or doors are closing, and... Third floor, quasi. Third. Going up. There you are. And there they go. And that's it. This elevator is very accessible and very impressed. Again. Take one more look at the keypad. By the way, say you hit the wrong key, this is also a touch screen, I believe, as well. So it's also a touch screen. So if you were to hit it, it. Yeah. Anyways. See? You can clearly hear it. You can clearly tell that each elevator is specifically arranged from A, B, C, and D. Anyways, that, that's it, and I hope you all enjoyed this video, and um, I'm, um, yeah, so, whoops. Anyways, hope you all enjoy.